This video is sponsored by Brilliant.org. More on them later. What am I doing with my life? Why am I even doing this? Have you ever asked yourself these questions? I have. Today I want to talk a little bit about that and talk about the three things that keep me going in moments of doubt. I'm in Lancia Tiergarten, which is a really beautiful and huge park in Vienna. You guys seem to appreciate my ramblings and my random thoughts, so here are some of those. Be prepared to be showered with infinite wisdom. <laughs> Do you remember, you know, like when you're young and you feel like everyone who's three or four years older than you is an adult? I remember being like in fifth grade and looking at ninth graders and thinking they are ready to buy a house, get jobs and like be adults. And then you turn 14 and you're like, Hmm, that's not really how it goes. <laughs> and when you're 20, you think that when you reach your 30s, you will have everything figured out. I'm now 34 and I don't have it all figured out. And still I was one of those lucky people who has had an idea of what I wanted to do with my life since a very young age. I want to be a marine biologist since pretty much I can remember knowing that marine biologists are a thing. And even now, while I'm making this video, I still know that I want to work with the ocean and I still have these doubts, even though I kind of know what it is I want to do with my life. I've always been someone who's attracted to having a career that involves adventure and some sort of uncertainty. I always expected to have external uncertainties in my life and in my career, but that's not really what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about internal uncertainties. Those questions you ask, you find yourself or I find myself asking sometimes, why am I doing this? Is this even worth it? These existential questions I have sometimes about my job. I think that these questions, these existential questions are questions that everyone can have at any point of their life, no matter how happy or success successful they are. They're just human emotions and questions. And I don't see the fact of me having them like a poor me thing. I just see it as a very normal thing that I want to talk about. Yeah, and especially in today's working environment where everything is constantly changing, you will definitely feel a lot of these what the hell moments, I think. <laughs> and especially if you're working as a freelancer or if you're trying to build a completely new career for you that does not exist out there, these moments will come for sure. And that's okay, it's just part of it. You cannot be all the time motivated. Okay, let's start with the three reasons why I keep doing what I do, despite feeling like I have no clue what I'm doing sometimes. <laughs> but let's keep on walking. This is the beginning of the park. There is some wildlife. There are wild boars here and deer, but I believe that with me talking, they just ran away. But who knows, maybe we'll see some on the way. Let's go. Definitely the first signs of spring. Flowers are blossoming. Snow is gone. Winter is past, sort of. It's Vienna, so you never know. <laughs> Might come back. Yeah, spring. I think the first reason why I keep on doing what I do is because I think I'm going somewhere. I think I'm going somewhere both financially and in terms of the career I really want to build for myself. No matter how much I love what I do, I'm still a person who wants to be financially independent and eat and live somewhere. Unfortunately, in today's world, money is important to do those things. Even though now things are a bit uncertain, as it is usually when for anyone who starts a new company or a new business, uh, I do think things are going somewhere. Also in terms of the goals I want to achieve for myself and in terms of what I want to do for the world. Because uh, in the end for me, what I do is a mix between what makes me happy and what I also think is important to leave as a legacy, I suppose. But at the moment, I think I'm doing my best working on what I believe will lead me to the place where I want to be in the future. And I'm enjoying the ride, which is the most important thing. And I try to remember this when I have those doubts. So usually when I have the doubts, it's because I stop believing these things will ever happen. But I try to remember that at some point, sometimes I do think this is going somewhere. 
and those times in which I think it's not going anywhere, I just have to push through them because I know the time will come when I think that things are going somewhere. Will come. What? <laughs> that sentence doesn't make sense. Just reminding yourself that nothing is perfect. I told you, you would be showered by immense wisdom. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I like what I do. It would be really difficult for me to keep this job and to do something which is so uncertain both financially and in terms of achieving the goals I want if I didn't like what I do. I love making videos, I love research, I love the ocean, I love marine sciences. I like talking to people, I like meeting new people, building a community, connecting with you guys. I, I like this. I like research and I love science communication. Not only because I think it's important, but I have pleasure doing this. Not everything is fantastic and great. Obviously, no job is. There are things I don't like and <laughs> that I have to do that I don't like to keep this going and run as a sort of a business. As an overall thing, I really like what I do. <sighs> little log here to sit. Oh, that's not gonna work. Hi. <laughs> I remember why I'm doing this. I remember the core. I wanted to be a marine biologist since I can remember and I wanted to participate in solving the issues the oceans are facing since I can remember. When I connect back to the reason why I'm doing this, it, somehow it becomes easier. It's very easy to fall in this grind mindset of just going through your daily to-do list, do those tasks and just forget why you are doing what you're doing in the first place. It happened to me many times. It happened to me especially during my PhD and it still happens now that I work as a freelance science communicator. You get very caught up in just fulfilling very specific tasks and you kind of get really like invested in those things in the good and the bad ways. I remember during my PhD uh, I there were months in which I would completely forget why I was even studying plastic eating bacteria. I was just so focused in writing papers and getting that one program to work then when it didn't I would just lose my mind <laughs> or I got, would get super upset when experiments didn't work because I couldn't write the paper as fast as I wanted so everything became very me centered and by the way I have no issues with that sometimes you have to be me centered especially in academia because academia does reinforce me centered type work and I have no issues with that. And if that is your motivation, that's absolutely fine. Each person has their own motivation to do what they are doing. But for me personally, these smaller goals become less heavy when I remember why I am doing them. So when I remove a bit of the self-centeredness, oh, there's a squirrel. When I remove the self-centeredness a bit from my work, it really, really helps. Let me know down below what you think of all this. What keeps you going? What keeps you doing what you are doing, even in times in which you're uncertain? Do you know what else is cool besides this beautiful forest? Brilliant, Brilliant is cool, our sponsor of today's video. Brilliant is an interactive learning online platform with a wide variety of courses in all fields of science. This is a type of website I would love to have had when I was in high school and university learning about all these different topics, especially for things like statistics, data analysis and computer sciences, which are essential for anyone looking for a scientific career or even for someone starting a business. They have courses for every levels of knowledge from beginner to advanced and new courses are added every month. I think Brilliant is really a brilliant way to learn seemingly difficult topics in fun ways and to retain the knowledge you gain. I, for example, keep on using it to refresh my statistics and data analysis skills. If you want to try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for 30 days, go to brilliant.org slash cnme or click in the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Don't miss out on this opportunity. And thank you Brilliant for sponsoring today's video. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you want to help
help and support what I do here, consider donating to my Patreon. We have fun over there. Check it down below. Thank you very much for watching. Share this video with someone you think might be interested in. Like it if you liked it. And subscribe if you want to watch more content like this or marine-related content. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you in the next one.